today we're going to be taking a look at the Sunjack 60 watt solar panel and performing a few different charging tests to see how well it performs. Solar panels typically fit into one of two categories, powerful but not portable, or portable but not powerful. The Sunjack 60 watt solar panel is a great blend of portability and power. It is compact enough when folded to easily store away or fit in a backpack, making the solar panel fantastic for camping, backpacking, hiking, outdoor adventures, and is also a great piece of emergency preparedness gear. Though compact, it has enough power to charge a wide range of devices, such as power stations that accept DC and any USB device including your smartphone, laptop, tablet, power bank, and flashlight. If you're in the market for an extremely tough and efficient mid-sized panel to keep your devices charged up off-grid, this is a great option to consider. We're going to start off by taking a look at the panel, and it weighs in at 4 pounds, 13.6 ounces, and immediately I notice just how rigid and durable the build quality feels, which is a great sign. And when it's folded, it's roughly the size of a laptop. There's a mesh zippered compartment on the back of the panel, which is useful for storing the included DC cable and adapters, which are great for charging power stations, and you can also keep devices in this compartment while charging and the mesh will help to ensure that they receive plenty of airflow to keep cool. There's a USB-C, a USB-A, and a DC output which you can use to charge your devices, and you can even charge multiple devices simultaneously, but we'll touch more on that shortly. The USB-C port is 45 watt power delivery, the USB-A is a quick charge 3.0 rated at a maximum of 18 watts, and the DC port is rated at 19 volts. The panel unfolds easily and they're made of monocrystalline with ETFE construction, which provides maximum efficiency and UV ray permeability. They can deliver up to 60 watts with about 95% UV permeability, which makes them much more efficient compared to many other panels, and they're also waterproof, shockproof, dustproof, and dropproof. And overall, they're far more durable than the typical panels you'll find with the PET exterior layer construction. There's also grommets in each corner, and the panel comes with two carabiners, so you can hang the panel in a more optimal position for charging. Now I'm going to perform a few different tests to see how well the panel can charge a variety of devices. We're going to start off with this OOPS 600 watt portable power station and we're going to be charging it using the DC input and a USB-C input simultaneously and starting at about 9.38 am with a 0% charge and right now you can see the input watts displayed on the screen and it's about 10 but at peak charging speed at about noon we were around 37 watts. Now we're back at about 2.30 pm and the input watts are at 29 and the power station now has a 13% charge which is approximately 77.35 watt hours. Next we're going to charge up this Chromebook via USB-C which is also starting at 0% and this is a 3635 milliamp hour battery and I plugged it in at 923 a.m. and by 1105 it was fully charged and my client tools digital USB power meter gave me a reading of 20.24 volts and 0.45 amps. Here's a few more test results that were completed around noon when the sun was in a great position for the test and my little Insta360 1R action camera was charging at 4.99 volts and 1.73 amps. The sofa an LT1 lantern was able to charge at 4.87 volts and 1.25 amps and my dad's Samsung Galaxy S20 was able to charge at 89 volts and 1.62 amps. Note that each item was receiving a charge at its maximum or near maximum input rating. You can also charge multiple devices at the same time but this will only occur if the devices accept a charge at the same voltage. At the moment I'm charging a smartphone and also charging up the Chromebook at the same time. If the devices charge at different voltage the panel will temporarily shut down the port supplying a charge at a higher voltage and prioritize the port with the lower voltage and the reason for this is to maximize charging efficiency and when I go ahead and plug the Chromebook in the charge is directed to the Chromebook and the power station is no longer charging. Overall the performance of the panel was quite good and that combined with the impressive build quality and the variety of outputs makes the Sunjack 60 watt panel a fantastic option to consider if you're in the market for a mid-sized solar panel. If you want a panel that's highly portable that can handle charging a wide variety of devices at great speeds this solar panel will definitely meet your needs. If you want to learn more about the Sunjack 60 watt panel or pick one up you can find a link down in the description below thanks for watching and if you enjoyed the video please be sure to hit the thumbs up button and subscribe to the channel for more videos like this one